for NASA, the mission goes well beyond just the science and engineering. It's also about public awareness. And that's where the television crews from Kennedy Space Center and Goddard Space Flight Center come into play. On the days leading up to launch, the crews work night and day to guarantee the public has access to live coverage of press conferences, briefings, and interviews with scientists. The goal is to make sure the public knows exactly what NPP is all about. It's 2 o'clock in the morning here at Vandenberg Air Force Base, and NASA television crews are getting ready to do interviews with former astronaut Pierce Sellers for TV stations coast to coast. Okay, so here we are. It's uh, the middle of the night, two days before the launch, and the uh, Mission Director Control Center, which is where we're at. So all the stations are getting the exciting news, building up to the launch of NPP. So we're trying to create some awareness of what's going on. Why is this important from a media point of view? Well, this is science, uh, technology being used to help people. This is important. So you know, we keep striving to get the message out there that this is science serving people in a positive way. People rely on uh, weather forecasts, you know, particularly forecasts for extreme weather. But it takes a lot of money, time, effort, and scientific sweat to get that information prepared and out to people. And I think it's interesting for people to realize how it's done. You have to have these big satellites, you have to have computer models and a lot of smart people working very hard to get you the information. The satellite is going to provide a tremendous amount of information for what I do as a meteorologist. Visible images, data going into computer models, but there's also going to be data that goes into long-range models uh, for climate assessment. And these are all things that impact all of us on the planet we live in. So while we live down here and we step outside and we can look up, it is so important that we have our technology and we have the resources, the manpower and the brain power to put something up in space that can look back down, give us uh, that better perspective. NASA has joined the social media movement to help spread the NPP message. They've invited a couple dozen enthusiastic bloggers and journalists for a tweet up. And the group is taking part in a series of all day events to learn about NPP and share the message through their social media networks. I think it's important for people to realize what we're doing in this program. It's an important, expensive program. It's a lot of taxpayers' money but it provides a huge benefit back to the taxpayer. Your weather prediction, and your climate records, climate understanding, all of that's important to people. So I want to explain to them what we're about. Engine start, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II with the NPP satellite, blazing the way a new technology for climate research and weather forecasting. 